What is going on guys, it's Dunk back for another video. Today we have a very, very important video looking at the total market cap. And things just don't look good. So immediately jumping into the chart here, there are three different totals you can take a look at. So total one, or just total, is the market cap for all the cryptocurrency minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. Total two is the entire market cap minus Bitcoin. I just move that out of our way here. So crypto total market cap excludes Bitcoin. And then total three, uh, which is going to be total market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is purely altcoins. So for a long time, we've been talking about altcoins bleeding against Bitcoin dominance. And this is the chart, the chart that is going to actually prove this to us. But while a lot of folks are talking about a Santa rally, looking at how things went last year, the economy is completely different, and I'm not holding out my hopes uh, for a pump into the holidays. Uh, the charts are telling us something quite different. So we are sitting right now on total three, so the complete altcoin market cap minus Bitcoin and Ethereum, and taking a look at what this tells us. So under the daily chart here, we did print a green dot yesterday, which is giving me hope that we would hold the support line, but the lower time frames plus the higher time frames combined against this aren't painting a beautiful picture. So on the daily chart here, if we hop into Cypher B, we just printed that actual green dot. And if we zoom out a little bit, this is continue bullish divergence here all the way back from May of uh, 2022. So about six months ago, we have this descending wedge coming all the way down here. And I'm just gonna give us a measured move here quick from the top of the wick to the bottom of the breakdown here potentially and where that leaves us. And if we just drop this right here, you can see that is a 35% measured move. And that's gonna line up actually beautiful with some volume profiles. But let's get into this a little deeper. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna know if this daily turns around very quickly and if it looks like it's gonna dump even further. So again, you can see here green dot one day later, a red dot, and it happens quite a bit here on the total as the market fluctuates. So I'm going to set an alarm. So plus alert, we're going to go down here to market cipher B. If you're using the free version of Wu Manchu, you can do this as well. So this is going to be daily red dot. Let's make sure we actually get that right. There we go. And I'm gonna create that alert. So that's good. So when that turns right back over, I'm gonna know that it's happening. So next, let's go down through the lower time frames and see what we can see. So 22 hour is actually it looks like it's coming up a little bit, which is good for the bull case. We have the eight hour, which is currently under a green dot, but money flow in the red here. VWAP coming down a little bit, and this is pretty aggressive, so I'm going to be looking for that to turn over. If we go to the 6-hour, we are actually now printing a red dot on the 6-hour. So that has just showed up on our charts this morning, and that is what, got, what has got me very bearish in this situation. As you can see, as we zoom in on the 6-hour, we are below that support line, uh, hitting resistance here uh, on the 6-hour, what actually takes us all the way back to Sunday, uh, December 18th. And it's only the 21st now, so about a five day period there. But if we print this red dot and we break this double bottom here, it's going to get pretty ugly. Uh, five hour is actually already confirmed. Let's take a look at the higher time frames. The two hour looks a little, or the two day looks a little flat. Uh, the three day is currently under a red dot with money flow looking to be coming out here pretty aggressively. The four day looks to be coming out pretty aggressively. The five day, a mm, little flat there. And the six day actually just confirmed a red dot. And you can see this money flow wave is coming out pretty aggressively. So let's take a look on the six day chart. If we lose this key line of support all the way back from the original FUD on the Tesla dump. This looks like it's probably back in May. Yep, this is the May, April uh, 2021. Uh, hey, Elon Musk is selling his uh, Bitcoin out of Tesla's balance books. And we dumped 
that is this trend line we're trying to hold right now. We are aggressively pushing down through this on the six day chart. But zooming out a little more completely here, you can see this very, very large volume gap and we are currently floating right in the middle of it. If I just get rid of the TA completely, we are not sitting on anything right here, okay? When we find ourselves floating in the middle of volume gaps, we typically find ourselves all the way to the volume of that bottom of that volume gap before the next significant move up. So coming down, we had that measured move still on the chart here from that descending wedge on the daily chart. And that measured move actually lines up perfectly with that volume gap. So the odds of this filling out completely are pretty high right now. We have this little bit of a high volume node right here, which is about 14% down. But if we lose that level concisively, it's going to completely fill this 35%. So what does that mean for altcoins? Well, it pretty much means dump city. So some altcoins will dump 20 to 30%. Others another 50% plus, really depending on the position in the marketplace. Let's see if we can find any bull cases here. Uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin quick. So coming down the Bitcoin, well, let's get a prettier chart here. Coming down the Bitcoin on the sixth day, we have this measured move all the way down to about 10 to 12K here where these high volume nodes are if we lose this level. But you can see right now we are sitting on this node pretty consecutively. Let's actually start here on the daily, just like we did with the total three. Oops. The total three is currently under a red dot. It does look like it wants to put a green dot here. I would guess maybe that the 22 hour already did. So the 22 hour already did. But the same thing, I want to go backwards in time here and look at some of these lower time frames and see if we can tell what's coming. All right, so on the four hour chart here on Bitcoin, we did print another bear div on the four hour. So we have vol falling volume with rising price, and that has confirmed with money flow coming progressively out here uh, at an aggressive rate. And then we did have that actually confirm as well on the five hour. And I'm looking for this con to confirm on the six hour. So I'm actually going to add an alert here. Our market cipher B once per bar closed. We don't want that to fire prematurely. So six hour red dot. Just going to add that there. And I'm going to create that alert watching to see if Bitcoin's going to break these key support levels. So you can see all the way back from December 18th, just like I was talking about with the total three, we've had this upwards trend and now looks like we could potentially be rolling back over, visiting the valuary low here. So coming all the way back down here for potentially a double bottom. If we don't find key support there, it's going to get a little dumpy. Moving out to the eight hour that we talked about the daily looking like it wants to print a green dot, but let's head into the higher time frames. So two day is currently under a red dot. Three day is currently under a red dot. And here we go. So the four day chart is actually now printing a red dot. So you can see here, money flow looks like it's curving back around. And we want to print this dot right here. That is another one day in six hours. So this has been visible for quite a bit now. Five day, not quite doing the same thing yet but it looks like it's heading that direction. So let's zoom out here and see if we can find any volume gaps. Whew. So you can see these key levels down here or these nodes start to really stick out here with volume. And that's going to be a very, very key level support. And that is 11,600 ish. We'll call it 12,000. We'll call it 12,000 even for support. But where are we getting that actual measured move from? So on the four day chart, Again, we have this descending triangle. Let's take a wick from the top here to the current bottom of support. And let's see where that actually lands us. That's taking us a little further down, but let's see if we can actually get that a little proper into the triangle. There we go. That would be about right there. And then that's actually going to dump us a little further. That doesn't lie, guys. The TA is key here. That moves us right down to about... Hmm, that 10, $12,000 level. 
So what is actually happening on this chart right here? It looks like we actually decisively lost the triangle, came up for a retest, rejected, and now we head back down this way. Remember, we don't do this stuff in an entire day. There will be ebbs and flows to the market. But if I was a betting man, which I am, the TA is indicating more of a dump than a pump. The bonus here is we do have a high volume gap above us. If we can actually hold this level and break into the 17, 17, 2, we have a nice ride all the way back up here to about 19K. That is the hope for the Santa rally. I don't know if we actually see this anywhere on the charts. It's just going to be tough to find. So we are in this channel on the four hour. We broke down. We came up as much as we can. We wicked back into the 50 and the 100 EMA lines and we rejected again. So not looking great for a Santa rally. So make sure you're being careful with your trading. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Those are the levels I'm watching over the holidays here into the new year. If you're following along on TradingView, don't forget to set those alerts. But I will catch you on the next video, guys. Don't forget to hop in the Discord. Don't forget to sign up for MXC and join us on our trading ventures. But I will see you later.